The Silly Story of Goldilocks and the Three Squares by Grace Macrone, illustrated by Anne Kennedy. This is a story about a girl named Goldilocks. She isn't the Goldilocks you know from the fairy tale. The fairy tale Goldilocks lived long ago, once upon a time. The fairy tale Goldilocks is the great great grandmother of our Goldilocks. Our Goldilocks lives right now. She is not at all like her great great grandmother. Or is she? One day, our Goldilocks was walking in the woods. She saw a pretty house in the shape of a pentagon. It had five sides. Goldilocks was hungry and tired, so she went into the house. It was stupid to walk into a stranger's house like that. But that's what girls named Goldilocks seemed to do. No one was home, but there were three bowls on the table. The first bowl had noodles that were shaped like triangles. Some of the noodle triangles had three equal sides. Some of the noodle triangles had two equal sides and one different side. Some of the noodle triangles had three unequal sides. None of the sides were the same. Yuck! Goldilocks did not like all these different triangles. The noodles in the second bowl were shaped like rectangles. Some noodle rectangles were long and skinny. Some noodle rectangles were short and wide. Yuck! Goldilocks did not like all these different rectangles. The third bowl had square noodles. They were great. All of the squares had four equal sides. Goldilocks popped the square noodles into her round mouth. Now Goldilocks was no longer hungry, but she was still tired. She looked around. She spotted three chairs and tried them out. The first chair was shaped like a triangle. Goldilocks tried to sit on it, but she could not. She fell on her you-know-what. Ouch! The second chair was shaped like a circle. As soon as Goldilocks sat down, the chair rolled away. At first, that was fun. Then Goldilocks fell on her you-know-what again. Ouch! Ouch! The third chair was shaped like a rectangle. It was just right until it broke. Goldilocks fell again. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Well, you know what Goldilocks saw next. Right, three beds. Goldilocks tried the beds. One was shaped like a circle. Goldilocks hated it. Another bed was shaped like a triangle. She hated that one too. The last bed was shaped like a rectangle. It was just right, and Goldilocks fell asleep. The three squares came home. When they saw the big mess, they knew they were not alone. The three squares found Goldilocks asleep. They stared. Goldilocks woke up, and she was scared. But she still remembered this. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So Goldilocks ran straight out the door and she never circled back. <laughs>